Health officials continue to monitor possible cases of Kong poisoning. Good evening, everyone. I'm Keishla Adderley, and welcome to The Bahamas Tonight, The National Report. Topping the news tonight, Health Minister Dr. The Honorable Dwayne Sands confirming to ZNS News that as of today, the Ministry of Health has recorded 20 confirmed cases of Kong poisoning here in New Providence. He also noted that there are 20 possible cases that meet the clinical case definition, but they still don't have laboratory confirmation. It was two weeks ago when health officials initially confirmed four cases of Kung poisoning and advised Bahamians to reduce their chances of becoming a statistic. The, the Kung poisoning is, is a sad situation and we're trying to rectify that right now by asking all Kung vendors uh, not to take the Kung out of the shell until it's ordered. And let's see how best we can do that. I know a lot of these um, stores out here are busy on, on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And so a lot of them take the conch out, put it in the bucket, and it be there for a while, and then the bacteria, like Dr. San says, it hit the conch, and then it's difficult to even washing it off if you put it in fresh water. Well, that was the manager responsible for the Potter's Key Fish and Food, Food Vendors Association, Gregory Minnis, who spoke with us from Potter's Key today. Minnis says he's hoping that the Kung poisoning scare did not deter customers from purchasing the popular delicacy as efforts are still underway to minimize the issue. We trust that the, the patrons will not stop coming to Potter's Key for Kung salad because there are good Kung vendors out here who understand the industry and they're doing their best to make sure that their customers are safe. 